Okay. You don't want to be? Okay, we won't record this. How's it going? In 3DX Design. We just got our new printer in. Fusion 3F400. We're excited about getting it. We've been waiting for a couple weeks now. Um, we're going to do an unboxing and a review. There's not very many YouTube reviews on YouTube. And we're going to get real in-depth and give a real good review, a really good unboxing. We're going to print three, four hundred hours on it, do another review. Um, if you check out our YouTube channel and subscribe, we're going to start doing reviews on the high-end printers. There's a lot of YouTube 3D printer guys doing reviews on these cheap three hundred, four hundred dollar printers, which is cool, but when it's time to go buy a nice printer, you don't have nothing to look at because nobody's doing the reviews. So we're going to be the go-to channel for the reviews for the high-end printers. Um, like I said, we're going to do unboxing, doing a review. It's in 3DX Design. I'm Josh. This is my dog, Rocky. We are the 3D printing team, huh? Sit down. Sit. Okay. Good boy. He's the 3D printing dog. Alright, so we're going to get this moved into the printing lab and get it unboxed. Clip out whatever's good. They package this all nice. They don't want nothing to happen to it. It was a long trip all the way from North Carolina where the manufacturing plant is. This looks like it's just a uh, quick setup guide, maybe the user manual. Let's see here. Oh, this is nice. So we want the quick start guide. What else we got in here? Oh, Simplify 3D. That's the one. That's the best. Best 3D printing software there is. So we'll get into that too. We'll be doing a review on the software, on the printer, on everything. So read this document before operating your printer. Introduction. Thank you for purchasing Fusion 3F400 3D printer. Your F400 has been designed and manufactured to the highest quality standards to get many years of reliable, high quality output with minimal maintenance. This quick start guide is designed to help you get printing quickly. It is not comprehensive. It is not a comprehensive manual. A full user manual is provided in the SD card and is also available on our website. This is a complex piece of equipment and there is a learning curve involved. Yep, yep, yep. So, packaging contents. I've actually already been through this online before I got here because I was so excited it was coming. So we need to go through and check that we got all this here. Is it done in that box? Yeah. Let's get that out. Don't know. Looks like and we got a spray bottle. Everything. This is uh, this is very important because we're going to be printing a lot of carbon fiber. We have to filter. You got glue sticks, all kinds of stuff in here. It looks like, yeah, it looks like everything's in here. I'm sure that's for cleaning the bed and that type of stuff. Okay, so we've already done this part. We did that to get it through the door. Now we're gonna lift these out. So we're going to move the printer into the print shop 
We're gonna lift it out. It takes two people. We only got two people, one filming me, me and my son Junior. Um, so we'll be right back once we get it into the print shop. So we're gonna put the HEPA filter on real quick before we lift it onto the table. So we're not gonna be able to get to it once. So it looks to me. Yeah. So this will keep us safe when we're printing materials like carbon fiber and bronze and things of that nature. Keep us safe printing anything basically. Um, gets all the pollutants out of the air. That's why it's enclosed and it has this. This is one of the reasons I bought it because we're here in this office environment and I want to be printing the good stuff. So. Pretty cool. It's got a fan. Blows out all the. All right, we're gonna lift it up, and then we will. Get... Rocky, Rocky, Rockaboo. I guess I can. So we got the Fusion 3 F400 unloaded. It took us a little while because we <laughs> we had to set up a larger area for it because it's, it's very big, bigger than we thought. It's got a nice print volume. Um, I'm just going to run down some of the specs on this thing, the reasons I bought it. Um, it comes with a monstrous print size print volume, 14 inch by 14 inch by 12.6 which in millimeters that would be 355 on the X, 355 on the Y, and 320 on the Z. Um, it's a monster. You can definitely print some large objects or a lot of objects at the same time on this at high quality. The exterior dimensions on this thing is 30.6 inches by 28.1 by 25.25. It weighs a whopping 85 pounds. This thing comes on freight. When they deliver it, they're serious about it and they make sure it's handled very well. This is fused filament fabrication technology. This is the straight additive manufacturing. This is 3D printing at its best. And this is the best of the 3D printing of additive manufacturing, in my opinion. This is the one to have. Um, it comes pre-assembled, pre-calibrated. It's ready to go right out the box. It has a re resolution of 20 microns to 300 microns, which is a 0.02 to 0.3 millimeters, which is better than any any of these other printers, any of the printers you see everybody doing the reviews on. This is the one. This is the one that prints the finest, the best for FFF. The build plate heats up to 100 degrees in six minutes. Now it heats up to 200 Celsius in three minutes. It's got automated bed leveling, infrared sensor. This thing, every time it prints, it levels the bed. And while it's printing, it's got an infrared sensor on the nozzle. It levels the bed while it's printing. That's why it comes out so perfect. Each level is printed at exactly what it's supposed to be. It's got the E3 DV6 all metal front head. It's swappable. It heats up to 300 degrees. This is the print head everybody talks about. This is the one you want. It's got it. It comes optional with a 4 millimeter hardened nozzle or a 6 millimeter. I got it with a 4 millimeter because I like my prints finer. Um, it can be a little slower but it's a little better. The max print speed on this is 250 millimeters a second. That is way faster than any other printer. That is 250 millimeters a second. I'm printing at 70, 60, 50. This thing is going to get around and get things done. It's got a valve extruder with a, a geared feeder. See right there, that's the extruder. The operating sound level on this thing is only 36 decibels when closed and 41 decibels when open. 
it'll print a minimum feature of 0.5 millimeters squared. It's got the optional HEPA filter with carbon filtration and it will print a whole range of certified materials. Um, we're taking the protected film off all the windows. Looks like it's got LED lights up here. This thing is super cool. So we got the door open. We're going to move the Z-axis shipping support. Okay. So we power on three to five seconds, wait for the boot up. There we go. Rocking and rolling. Okay, so. We're supposed to press the home X button to do this one. Repeat the process for X and Y. So we've already got the help to filter on. We put it on before we lifted it up here. Um, we're going to load the filament that came with it. What kind of filament they give us? Let's see what they hooked us up with. Atomic. I just ordered some of this. Gunmetal gray. Nice. This is what I wanted. This is a little letter opener, but you know, cut the filament. Got a sticker. Nice. Take twenty dollars off your next purchase by four. Nice. I buy lots of filament, so that's definitely what this is for. This? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see. Do we have a, a rod over there? At an angle. At an angle? That's what it said. Feed that in there. Okay. There we go. On the screen, navigate to the control tab, push the macro button. Load filament. Now it looks like we just gotta wait. 